Tigers hosting the Red Sox. The Red Sox are plus 130 on the money line. The Tigers are minus 154. The over-under is seven and a half runs. The Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 172, meaning if you bet them that way, they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Tigers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 142, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And with Scooble on the mound, I'm truly surprised that they're not a heavier favorite, but I guess it's because he's pitching against Pavetta. A lot of people probably aren't going to start betting on these games anymore because college football kicks off again, so... You're going to get the baseball purists who will be betting baseball, but football's back. It's supposed to be 78 degrees, 7 mile an hour winds blowing out, and no rain. Pavetta pitched once against the Tigers this year. Five and a third, two runs, two earned. They lost 5 nothing. He struck out 9. Scooble pitched once against the Red Sox last year. Five and a third, five runs, four earned. They lost 5-2. That was in Boston. He struck out 3. Head to head, the Red Sox are seven and three. The road team's on a two-game winning streak. The road team is six and four. The favorite is six and four on the money line and six and four on the run line. The over has hit in their last four games. The over under is five and five. The over seven and a half runs is seven and three. And there have been no one-run games in their last ten meetings. So whoever wins has been winning by at least two runs. The Red Sox are three and two in Pavetta's last five starts. The over is four and one in those starts. Four and two-thirds innings pitch, 5.4 hits, 4.2 runs, four of which were earned, 5.8 strikeouts, 1.2 walks, two home runs per game. He's given up two home runs in every one of his last five starts. 85.8 pitches per game, 18.9 pitches per inning. The Tigers are four and one in Scooble's last five starts. They've won his last four starts. Six innings pitched, 4.8 hits, 2.4 earned runs, 7.8 strikeouts per game, 1.8 walks, 0.4 home runs. 94.6 pitches per game, 15.7 pitches per inning. The Red Sox are 5-5 five and five in their last 10, 3-1 and one in their last 4. 9 runs, 3 runs, 2 runs, 12 runs. 6 runs and a win, 3 runs and a win, shutout and a loss, and 7 runs and a win. For the Tigers, 2-2 two two in their last 4. 8 runs, 5 runs, 3 runs, 12 runs. 6 runs and a win, 3 runs and a win, shutout and a loss, and then 5 runs and a loss. I think with Scooble on the mound... You can always generally get him at great value because the Tigers don't have these dynamic offenses. And I'm glad that he didn't get traded to a really good team because then there would be no value in betting him. Tigers with the money line. Tigers laying the runs. And I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.